What's good, YouTube? Cessation or Cessier is here, and I'm back with another Tom Clancy's The Division Vendor Reset video. We're here for August 14th, 2020's Vendor Reset. So let's get right into this to see what we got good for this week. Okay, so for our first gear items, you want to hit over to Camp Hudson. Here, the gear vendor has a Spec Ops armor with the Talent Vigorous on there. It has a gear score of 271. The armor is 1,862. It's rolled for stamina, 1,210. And attributes this as is health, skill haste, and ammo capacity. For our next gear items, you want to head over to the Me Locker. Here, the weapons vendor has an extended magazine with 110.50% magazine size, 4% create damage, and 3% create chance. For our next gear items, you want to head over to the base of operations. Here, the Dark Zone gear vendor has a custom L86A2 with a gear score of 274. It has 21% damage to targets out of cover. And the talents this has is competent, deadly, and talented. And also here we got a prototype electronics mod with 258 electronics and 3,203 skill power. For our next gear items, we're still at the base operations. Head over to the weapons vendor and we got a Black Market RPK-74E with a gear score of 276. It has 20% damage to targets out of cover. And the talents this has is prepared, adept, and accurate. Also here we got a heavy magazine spring with 3% crit chance, 11.50% magazine size, and 9.70% rate of fire. For our next gear items, we're still at the base of operations. Head over to the gear vendor, and here we got an operator vest with the talent Reckless on there. It has a gear score of 278. The armor is 1,991. It's rolled for electronics, 1,228. And attributes this has is exotic damage resilience, health, and ammo capacity. For our next gear items, we're still at the base operations. Head over to the special equipments vendor, and here we got a Liberator with a gear score of 269. It has 18% enemy armor damage, and the talent this has is swift, brutal, and focused. Also here we got a lightweight M4 with a gear score of 258. It has 18% enemy armor damage, and the talent this has is responsive, sustained, and prepared. Me personally, I wouldn't run it like this, but I mentioned it in case somebody else would want this. Also here we got a tactical SASG-12K with a gear score of 280. It has 309.50% stagger, and the talents this has is competent, determined, and deadly. Also here we got an M700 tactical with a gear score of 270. It has 164% headshot damage, and the talents this has is accurate, destructive, and elevated. Also here we got a classic RPK-74 with a gear score of 279. It has 21% damage to targets out of cover, and the talents this has is vicious, commanding, and adept. Also here we got a tactical vest with the talent Rapid on there. It has a gear score of 264. The armor is 1,837. It's rolled for firearms, 1,145. And the attributes this has is exotic damage resilience, enemy armor damage, and increased kill XP. Also here we got a tactical pack with the talent Relentless on there. It has a gear score of 267. The armor is 1,178. It's rolled for stamina, 1,242, and the attributes this has is skill power and disrupt resistance. Also here we got some spec out gloves with the talent Savage on there. They have a gear score of 258. The armor is 855. It's rolled for stamina, 1,123, and the attributes this has is health, pistol damage, and SMG damage. Also here we got a large suppressor FDE with 18% crit hit damage, 3% crit hit chance, and 5.50% headshot damage. For our next gear items, we're still at the base of operations. Head over to the special blueprints vendor, and here we got a classic RPK-74 blueprint with a gear score of 256. We got electronics gloves blueprint with a gear score of 256. We got a small laser pointer blueprint with a power level 34. We also got a high velocity magazine blueprint with a power level 34. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to Camp Clinton. Here the special equipment vendor has a Cassidy with a gear score of 280. It has 334% stagger and the talents this has is accurate, ferocious, and boomstick. Also here we got a Historian with a gear score of 269. It has 168% headshot damage and the talents this has is capable, fierce, and Historian repeats. Also here we got an ACR with a gear score of 277. It has 18% enemy armor damage and the talents this has is deadly, fierce, and accurate. Also here we got a tactical SASG 12K with a gear score of 271. It has 316% stagger and the talents this has is self-preserved, fierce, and destructive. Also here we got a K-17 with a gear score of 268. It has 158% headshot damage and the talents this has is fierce, capable, and unforgiving. Also here we got a tactical vest with the talent Reckless on there. It has a gear score of 276. The armor is 1,906. It's rolled for firearms, 1,236. And the attributes this has is exotic damage resilience, all resistance, and ammo capacity. Also here we got an operator pack with the talent specialized on there. It has a gear score of 279. The armor is 1,294. It's rolled for firearms, 1,238. 
and attributes this has is health and ammo capacity. Also here we got a prototype performance mod with 5.50% first aid self heal. Also here we got a large suppressor FDE with 19% crit hit damage, 2% accuracy, and 6% headshot damage. For our next gear items, we're still at Camp Clinton. Head over to the special blueprints vendor in here. We got a military M9 blueprint with a gear score of 256. We also got a classic M60 blueprint with a gear score of 256. We also got a vertical grip foliage green blueprint with a power level 34. For our next gear items, you want to head over to Dante's Run. Here the gear vendor has a prototype electronics mod with 189 electronics and 3% damage to elites. And also here we got a prototype stamina mod with 255 stamina and 2865 health. For our next gear items you want to head over to the ward. Here the gear vendor has a spec ops mask with the talent refreshed on there. It has a gear score of 262. The armor is 866. It's roll for electronics 1141. And the attributes this has is health on kill and burn resistance. And also here we got a prototype firearms mod with 267 firearms and 3% skill haste. For our next gear items, you want to head over to the Southpaw. Here the gear vendor has a tactical vest with the talent Reckless on there. It has a gear score of 275. The armor is 1865. It's rolled for stamina 1222. And the attributes this has is health, all resistance, and ammo capacity. And I'll mention this because I'm here. We got a prototype performance mod with 4% pulse duration. For our next gear items, you want to head over to the grind house. Here the weapons vendor has a paratrooper SVD with a gear score of 270. It has 170% headshot damage. And at times this has its cool headed, unforgiving, and disciplined. And also here we got a heavy magazine spring with 5% reload speed, 3% crit hit chance, and 9.40% rate of fire. For our next gear items, you want to head over to West 31st Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a first wave vector 45 ACP with a gear score of 281. It has 21% crit hit chance. And the times this has is ferocious, competent, and fierce. We also got a prototype performance mod with 3.50% ballistic shield damage. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to West 34th Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a hunting M44 with a gear score of 279. It has 160% headshot damage. And the times this has is unforgiving, toxic, and prepared. We also got an operator mask with the talent Tenacious on there. It has a gear score of 268. The armor is 913. It's rolled for electronics, 1196. And the attributes this has is critical chance and blind death resistance. And also we got a prototype performance mod with 6% support station range. For our next gear items, you're going to head over to West 39th Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a paratrooper SVD with a gear score of 272. It has 149% headshot damage. And the talent this has is destructive, cool-headed, and disciplined. We also got a Spec Ops mask here with the talent Enduring on it. It has a gear score of 282. The armor is 986. It's roll for stamina, 1,264. And the attributes this has is exotic damage resilience and burn resistance. Also here we got a prototype firearms mod with 256 firearms and 1% crit hit chance. And also here we got a mega rifle suppressor with 17% headshot damage, 4% crit hit damage, and 4% optimal range. For our next gear items, you want to head over to West 42nd Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a prototype performance mod with 4.50% ballistic shield damage resilience. For our next gear items, you want to head over to West 53rd Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has an extended magazine. 117% magazine size, 5% reload speed, and 4% crit hit damage. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to East 58th Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone gear vendor has a Spec Ops mask with the talent refreshed on there. It has a gear score of 264. The armor is 853. It's roll for firearms 1,245. And the attributes this has is enemy armor damage and damage to elites. We also got a Spec Ops armor with the talent Rapid on there. It has a gear score of 262. The armor is 1,720. This roll for firearms, 1,150. And attributes this has is enemy armor damage, health, and increased kill XP. Also here we got a Spec Ops pack with the talent specialized on there. It has a gear score of 272. The armor is 1,167. This roll for firearms, 1,217. And attributes this has is stability and burn resistance. For our next gear items, you're able to the Park Ave checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone weapons vendor has a custom M870 MCS with a gear score of 268. It has 320.50% stagger, and the talent this has is adept, talented, and deadly. And also here we got a classic M60 with a gear score of 261. It has 19% damage to targets out of cover, and the talent this has is commanding, vicious, and fierce. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to East 53rd Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a prototype stamina mod with 265 stamina and 2.50% exotic damage resilience. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to East 46th Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a custom P416G3 with a gear score of 275. It has 18% enemy armor damage, 
and the talents it has is determined, adept, and focused. Also here we've got a prototype electronics mod with 264 electronics and 2.50% exotic damage resilience. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to East 42nd Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a Spec Ops pack with the talent specialized on there. It has a gear score of 268, armor is 1,177, it's roll for firearms 1,253, and the attributes this has is health and disrupt resistance. And also I mentioned this because I'm here, we got a prototype performance mod with 2.50% smart cover damage resilience. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to East 40th Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has an operator pack with the talent Relentless on there. It has a gear score of 269. The armor is 1,233, it's rolled for electronics 1,173, and the attributes this has is health and bleed resistance. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to East 31st Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a loud van break with 19% crit hit damage, 4.50% optimal range, and 2% accuracy. And also I mentioned this because I'm here, we got a prototype performance mod with 3.50% mobile cover damage resilience. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to DZ2 safe room. Here the Dark Zone gear vendor has Spec Ops armor with the talent Reckless on there. It has a gear score of 265, armor is 1,798, it's rolled for firearms 1,171, and attributes this has a skill haste, enemy armor damage, and ammo capacity. Also here we got a tactical pack with the talent specialized on there. It has a gear score of 261. The armor is 1,156, it's rolled for electronics 1,176, and the attributes this has is stability and bleed resistance. And also here we got some gunslinger gloves with the talent savaged on there. They have a gear score of 263, the armor is 859, it's rolled for electronics 1,137, and the attributes this has is assault rifle damage, crit hit damage, and pistol damage. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to DZ3 safe room. Here the Dark Zone Weapons Vendor has a surplus SVD with a gear score of 264. It has 142% headshot damage and the talents it has is commanding, accurate, and discipline. And also here we got a military RPK-74M with a gear score of 267. It has 22% damage to targets out of cover and the talents it has is brutal, vicious, and swift. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to DZ5 safe room. Here the Dark Zone Weapon Mod Vendor has a Tyrant Suppressor with 7% crit hit chance. 2.50% stability and 4.50% optimal range. For our next gear items, you're gonna head over to DZA safe room. Here the Dark Zone gear vendor has an operator mask with the talent refreshed on there. It has a gear score of 271. The armor is 929. It's rolled for firearms 1205. And attributes this has is exotic damage resilience and damage to elites. Also here we got an operator pack with a talent relentless on there. It has a gear score of 275. The armor is 1287. It's roll for electronics, 1,214, and attributes this has is health and ammo capacity. All right, everybody, that's it for our Tom Clancy's The Division Vendor Reset video for August 14th, 2020's Vendor Reset. I hope everybody tuned in too and found them something that they needed. Smash on that like and sub button. I appreciate that support. Check me out on Twitch. I stream on there sometimes, and I'll see y'all with the next one. Take care. Peace.